Pronunciation Pro. Pronunciation Pro. Okay, I feel like we all need to celebrate together. <laughs> this is a big. This is a big thing for for us here at Pronunciation Pro and for our students and something that I have, you know, I'm so excited about it. We have launched this Confident Pro Mindset course as of this week. And, um, and this, for, for those who may not, may not know the background to this course, it's something that you all have been helping me create for years. <laughs> it's something that um, as, uh, over the years, as I've been working with students and listening and reading emails and, and, um, and just really hearing all of your stories and your experiences and you've opened up and you've trusted me with your stories and your experiences, I have heard this common theme over and over and over again about confidence and the struggle with confidence. And that has just kept ringing in my ears of just confidence, confidence, confidence. This is all about confidence. Why do we want to speak English clearly so we can feel confident? I mean, it really comes down to that core feeling and, and seeing how, you know, as you develop your English and you get better, a lot of times that creates this confidence. But then there was still this missing piece. And so um, over the years, I've been really trying to piece that together. And this last year really came together. And it came together because I started teaching some, some things that I've been learning in my own life about confidence. And I've been testing it with you. And you've been giving me a lot of feedback and you've been helping me understand what your experience is with these concepts. And so I just have to thank all of you for your help in creating this because it really isn't from me, it's from all of you giving your insight, giving your experience, really helping me understand what you're, what you're dealing with. And it's interesting what a common experience it is. You know, you may feel like you're alone in that feeling of not feeling, not feeling confident about your spoken English, but you're really not, it is everyone. You know, everyone is having that experience. And, um, and so it's really exciting as I've heard all of these voices saying the exact same thing and being able to understand confidence in this new way in my own life and being like, oh my goodness, this is the key to what my students are struggling with. And this is something that I can help them with. Um, so I cannot be more excited about that this is finally coming together. And thank you so much for everyone's insight and input and your stories. And a lot of your stories have been weaved in into this course. Um, and I just want to thank you. So thank you so much. And I especially um, want to thank, and, and I, I know she's not going to be here today, but she might be re, re, uh, listening to this recording. And that's Fabiana. I don't know if you've come across Fabiana, but Earlier on this year, Fabiana, she's a life coach, um, a certified life coach. And as I was teaching these train this training, she reached out to me and said, I love what you're doing. It's exactly what we need. And is there anything I can do to help? And so she's 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 kind of been my sounding board through this. We've met regularly and I've been like, okay, this is what I'm thinking. What are your thoughts? You know. And she's helped me kind of uh, fine tune it. And so I just have to, I want to publicly thank Fabiana for that, that help and what she's done there. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in today. So what to expect from today is I'm going to kind of go through a little bit about the course. Um, and because some of you may have already watched the videos, some, some may be new to it. So I want to kind of give a little bit of an explanation, let you know what to expect with this course and how it's going to be delivered and released. And then, um, and just how these live trainings are gonna go from here on out um, here in the future. And then we're gonna go through the exercises together from the modules one or module, modules two and two A is where we have the, um, the exercises. So if you want to get out those, those worksheets or download those worksheets and kind of have them available or just have a piece of paper to write with, 
we're going to go through some of that material together today. Okay. Cause I think when we, you know, when we discuss and we share, just like I was talking about in the videos, there's one, one part is learning the information, but the most important part is applying the information and sharing it and using it. And that's when it really changes your brain. That's when you really um, understand and can use these concepts and they become part of your, your life. Okay. So that's what we're wanting to do today is create an opportunity of sharing and experiencing this content. All right. So let me, um, I'm going to share my screen here. Let me just kind of share for a minute. Um, and this is, you know, the Confident Pro Mindset course is a 12 module course. And the way that it's set up is that it, you're gonna, let's see, you're gonna access it week by week. And here at the beginning, we are releasing it one week at a time. And I'll explain that a little bit later, but it's a 12 module course and it can go, it can be done at the same time as the Pronunciation Pro course, okay? But I don't want you to get overwhelmed. If the Pronunciation Pro course, is, you, can, you just wanna focus on that, that's fine. If you want to do the Confident Pro Mindset course and the Confidence uh, or and the Pronunciation Pro course at the same time, that's great. I actually recommend that, but I don't want you to be overwhelmed by having too much to do. And so just go at your own pace, do what you can do. Um, and how you want to do it, but it's there for you um, so that you can, you know, you can adapt it to however you need. Okay. But the goal here really is to help you build greater confidence in yourself, that self-confidence and greater confidence in your ability to speak English. Okay. So everyone's at varying levels in their spoken English, but really what we're trying to look at is like, what are we thinking about ourselves and thinking about our ability to speak English that may be keeping us from practicing as much as we need to or speaking up as much as we want to? You know, I really want you to gain that confidence to be able to speak up even before you speak like a native or speak perfect or, you know, or aren't making any mistakes because really you have to, you have to speak up, you have to practice in order to improve. Okay, and to be able to speak up. Oh, here, let me hold on. It says sharing is paused. Are you guys seeing this? Okay, let me your shared window to the front. Sorry, hold on. I'm... Are you seeing this with the goals where it says goals? Yes. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, good. So um, as you're as you're gaining that confidence to speak up, then you're going to you're going to improve even faster. Okay, so it's almost like confidence has to come first, and then we can start moving towards our goal to speak more and more like a native. Okay, and the reason behind this goal is is my reasoning behind this goal is because I know that you have so much to offer and so much to share and so much that you need to do in your own personal life that's going to benefit everyone <laughs> because when you have so much value to offer you have so much of this unique experience and expertise and your talents and your abilities and the more confident you feel to speak up and share your opinions and your thoughts and your ideas the more everyone wins okay and i want you to have that confidence so that you can do that work okay And everybody's, everybody's own purpose is going to be different, like we'll talk about later today. But um, this is the, the reason behind this course, okay? And to be understood and be confident, those have always been our main goals with this course. Um, so when you're understood, when you can have that, that ability in English to be understood clearly, it's not a barrier, and you can take that as far as you want, you know? If you're going for completely native sound, great. If you're going for, you know, I just really want to be understood by everyone. I don't really care if I have an accent, no big deal. That's fine too. You know, wherever your goal is, we just want you to accomplish that. We also want that confidence for you. 
Okay. That confidence is huge. And this has kind of been that missing piece for us is that yes, we can build skill and help you sound more and more like a native, but we also need to work on our mindset to help you think in a more confident way that will help you practice so that you can reach that goal faster. Okay. Um, and we'll get back to this in just a minute. Let me, um, let's go ahead into the, the syllabus here. So I don't know if anybody has looked at this yet. And actually, let me share. <coughs> let me share here. Hold on. Let me share here where going into this, the um, pronunciation pro website, the confidence course is under pro courses. So you go here under confident pro mindset course, and it's going to look exactly like the other ones, the other courses you have. And under here, you're going to see all of the different trainings that are coming. Okay, so you have module one and two there, and then you can see everything that's coming um, under that navigation bar. Okay, so let me go ahead and go through this syllabus with you. Just give you an idea of what we're doing and when you're going to get it. So on Monday, I released module one and two. Every Monday for the next 11 weeks, now I'm going to release a new module because I want, I want us to really kind of absorb this. I don't want to overwhelm you, but we want to absorb it one, one module at a time. So we're going to go really dive into the actual practice next week of the Confident Pro Mindset model and kind of how we're gonna practice confidence through this. Breaking down limiting beliefs and understanding confidence and self-confidence comes next. We're gonna go into clearing space for confidence and kind of weeding out some of the, the not so helpful thoughts that are, that are keeping us stuck. And that really gets into kind of neg negative self-talk and comparison that tends to really kind of um, uh, just keep us in that state of insecurity, okay? And then we're gonna talk about really kind of that practice of building confidence and get more exposure to it. And the way that I teach, and you've probably noticed with the Pronunciation Pro course is I teach a concept, teach another concept, we circle back into and kind of bring in these, the, the other concepts in a new way. And you know we, we cycle through these. So it's not just one exposure and then you're supposed to have it figured out. You know that We know that as humans, we have to have exposure to it in, in a variety of ways for us to really be able to grasp these, these concepts and really be able to apply them in our own life, okay? So that's how this course is structured is I'm, I'm going to teach it and then we're going to revisit it and we're going to practice it together and it's going to be really fun. Um, so then module seven, we go into other people's opinions and we're going to really dive deep into that because as I've, I, I've, as I've talked with so many of you, that's such a, a big thing is, and for all of us as humans, <laughs> you know, that, that struggle with how other people's opinions of us and feeling judged and feeling those stereotypes and things like that, that are keeping us in that place of insecurity and maybe not, not helping us be our best self. And these thought models, we're gonna really practice what that looks like in detail. We're gonna go into your opinion of yourself and how that affects your confidence. Um, we're gonna do some thought models about that and thought models that's coming next week. You'll learn all about the thought model in um, this confident pro mindset model. So like I said, I introduce it here and then we get lots and lots of practice with the thought models. So we can really understand that practice that helps us build that confidence. Okay, overcoming fears of mistakes. We're gonna really dive deep into that and, and really discover, okay, where is that coming from? Why are we feeling so scared about that? What, is, what, are, what meaning are we putting to that? Um, we're going to go into proactive and reactive language and the way that we can really train our brain in the in the words that we use. Okay, we're going to talk about your story and and how we can have a more empowered story than maybe what what is in what is in your brain right now. Okay, and then we'll do kind of a review and bring it all together and say, okay, how how can we continue to grow with this this model. Now it's been an interesting experience because although English is my first language, all of these 
all of these um, or this practice that I'm going to teach you are all things that I had to very much practice while creating this course. <laughs> okay. And for me, um, as many of you know, I have a fear of public speaking. I have a fear of getting in front of cameras. I've always had a, this fear, but it's something that I've just kind of had to work through over the years um, and coach my brain into doing, okay? Um, because I know that this is the work I need to do and this is what I want to bring to you. And, and I knew that it was just these, the, it, it's in my mind. You know, the, the limitations are in my mind. And the more I could work on my mindset, the more I could reach my goals and reach these, these goals of creating these things for you. Okay. So it's very interesting because e even as I'm teaching <laughs> these things and creating this course, I tell you what, I've been using it constantly. So it's, it's not only something that I'm teaching, I am doing this constantly. Um, and have to, and I have had to do this constantly and will continue to do it constantly because it, I'm never, I'm not perfect in it and I'm going to continue to need to practice it. But, um, but it's very, very powerful. And I know that without this work, without this training, I, you know, I wouldn't be able to, to do what I'm doing right now. And, and I know that giving you these resources and giving the, you these tools will allow you to then move forward in the goals that you have. I'm very excited about that. Okay, any questions so far about kind of how this is all going to go over the coming, um, over the coming weeks and months? Anybody have any questions? Yeah, I do have a question. This is Daisy. Yeah. Hi, Annie. Hi, Daisy. So um, that means we're gonna meet each week? Or are we gonna no, go so yeah, good question. So let me let me go ahead and talk about the live confident uh, pro mindset trainings. So these live confident pro mindset trainings, like we're doing today, I will be doing them once a month, um, and we'll gather once a month and be talking about what you're learning in the confidence course and how you can go. Um, the the comment section below each lesson, I'm hoping, will really be an interactive experience. For us to share and to give insight and that you'll all kind of you know go in and can kind of talk through um, the course that way okay so there's the comment section we're going to have live trainings every month where we can go through some of the things that you have questions on we can do thought models we can you know do some coaching um, and do that so i will um so our, we'll have, have this today, and then the next one is going to be January 7th. Um, and so we'll go through that. Um, I have kind of played with the idea of having um, the option for people to buy a package that, that offers more one-on-one -on -one coach training, um, if that's interesting for people to do. But I, want, I wanted you guys, guys to get, get this experience with this type of training first, and then we can kind of see if you need more from there, okay? Um, okay, does that make sense, Daisy? Can you hear me? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, so that's kind of, here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. One more question. So every month, we're meeting today and then every month and every month we're going to be reviewing all the lessons, the modules that you are, are releasing every Monday. Yeah, so it'll be because obviously between now and January 7th, there will be several modules. So what I'll, I'll do is you can email, email me questions before you can um, and I'll kind of we'll kind of play around with what works best. But for this next one, as you're going through the confidence course, um, go ahead and if you have a question or something that you wanna want help with, go ahead and email that to me and I'll use those in the, in the live lessons and we can kind of go through those coaching items. So today is, I'm doing a little bit of an introduction and then we're diving into the questions and things, but moving forward, I want it all to be just about you and your questions and getting feedback and everything. So we'll spend the whole the whole hour really just working on whatever you guys have questions on. 
Um, and feel free to, in the comments below each lesson, if you have specific questions that you're just like, hey, I'm trying to figure this out. What is, you know, is this model right? Or, you know, however that is, I'm, I'm going to be there and able to answer questions that way as well. But if we want to do that live, that live feedback, go ahead and email me a, your question um, or what you would like some coaching on or help on, and we can do it during that live training. Okay, so there'll be several, there'll be several different um, modules that we may be touching on during the live lessons. Um, and you may be in module three and someone in module five, you know, it, we may be kind of a little bit off, but just like our study groups at Pronunciation Pro, you know, with the Pronunciation Pro course, people are at different levels and we'll just kind of ask questions, but it gives you insight um, no matter where you are in the course. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Great. Good. But, but we really yeah, just we me. want to be here for you um, through this this process. Okay. Uh, Melanie, did you have a question? Yeah, Melanie here. So my question is around. Uh, in case we opt for, for example, a self coaching path, uh, mm -hmm. I can see a module too. We got a lot of resources. Uh, we have videos, summaries, worksheets, audios. Do you have any recommendations? You know, around how we approach this. Yeah, so um, the audio, so that's a good question. So the audio with each lesson is the video, but just in audio form. So it's if you want to take it on the go and you want to review things, you want to listen to it again. Um, this is the kind of stuff, the more you listen to it, the more it kind of gets into your, your brain and you start thinking in this new way. And so I wanted to provide an audio form so you didn't have to be by your computer if you wanted to, to review it or listen to it again, um, that you had a more mobile version of it. So that's what the audio is. It's the same thing as the video. So you have the video and the audio, which are the same, but just in different forms. You have the lesson summary that just kind of, hey, I, you know, I'm forgetting what this, med, what, the, what this lesson was about. I'm gonna review that. Um, but what I recommend is watch the video, do the worksheets that go and the exercises that go along with it and then just kind of bring that awareness to your life okay and just you know it, it's it's changing thoughts which does take practice and those exercises are really going to give you kind of a, a solid practice to do with each lesson so as you watch the video do the do the assignment and the worksheet with it um, Step by step, you'll see that it's just really kind of helping you shift the way you're thinking and change the way you're seeing some things. Um, and you'll carry that into your own life. Very similar to what you're doing with the Pronunciation Pro course, okay? Is there's certain exercise, you know, videos to watch, exercises to do, and then you start kind of bringing it into your own life. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, my mode of teaching is very much the same structure, okay? We're doing it very similar to what you're already familiar with, with the Pronunciation Pro course. Okay, any other questions? Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the um, module. Let's see, module one. Um, module one was really just kind of an introduction to the course and helping you understand a little bit about why we're doing what we're doing and who is it, who, what questions we're going to really address. So modules two and two A is when we kind of get into start getting into the content. Um, so let's pull up the worksheets from those. We'll start with module two. find so this was take back your personal power and how have you have you um how many of you have watched the video so far maybe um do the raise hand icon if you are um if you have watched the video so far just gives me an idea of like you know where we're coming from here Okay, so um, here's what I want you to do. So someone who has, has gone through the module two video, can you kind of give us a summary 
of this video and some of the things that you learned from it and um, some takeaways that you had from it. I think that would help us kind of all get onto the same page and give you a chance to kind of um, summarize. And when you summarize and you teach, it helps, helps um, with that output, helps you really understand the content. Do I have a volunteer for that? I could volunteer, Annie. Okay, go ahead, Daisy. Oh, it's Natalia, oh, I think. Natalia. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We both Daisy can raise her hand. Thing I can. There you go. <laughs> okay, Natalia. Perfect. Okay, so what I took on, what I took from module two was mm -hmm. about confidence. So confidence, okay. confidence involves uh, what we have control and what we have no control over. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to, or in order for me rather, to build my confidence up, I, I must become aware of what I have control of. So for example, mm -hmm. I have control of uh, the way I sound, um, mm -hmm. how well I move my mouth, uh, how well I speak and what I think about myself, as opposed to mm -hmm. um, wondering what the other person is talking correct or thinking about myself um, mm -hmm. I have no control over that so if I focus on that that's going to diminish my self-confidence and mm. that was the, the main takeaway in um, you know my summary on, on module two so Excellent. yeah maybe somebody else wants to share another yeah. portion of it. okay thank love you love that yeah and and as you're going through these videos and going through this experience um, the things that are going to stand out to you may be different than other people because it's it's kind of that inner self saying, "Hey, pay attention." You know, this is this is something that that you need, um, and you might want to work on. Um, and it really, you know, it, it that's how we individualize it. Okay, anyone else want to kind of bring in their ideas here? Yeah, so, uh, this is Daisy. Okay. So the second point, um, it talks about the take uh, 100 responsibility uh, mm -hmm. over what you do uh, or how you to re your response to the challenge. In this mm -hmm. case, would be uh, um, improving English skills. So um, so taking 100 res responsibility um, will be, you know, practice uh, for my personal experience it has been really challenging, like doing those movements and the mouth, how we move our mouth and mm -hmm. make this right sounds. And it really takes practice. So um, it needs commitment and mm -hmm. discipline. So um, I've been trying to include that in my daily habits. And mm -hmm. um, I'm still making mistakes, and um, but I still continue practice is trying to improve and mm -hmm. um, now I can see um, I, I have improved. And um, so it's just a matter of how you see things. And mm -hmm. like uh, the first point was, uh, there's things we do not have control, but the things we do have control, we can we can take some responsibility for it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what are the traps that we that we fall into a lot of times? All of us fall into when it comes to taking one hundred percent responsibility for ourselves. Um, well, we, I personally speaking, I would say um, that um, so sometimes we we just uh, we're afraid that being we've been talking to other people uh, like public, it was being judged mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. having fear that how we're gonna be seen or, or things like that, no? Um, yeah. But I love that picture about it being a victim. Um, yeah, so you know? we talked, yeah. Are you talking about this one or the Yeah, the that one, that one, right. This one. Okay, so let me yeah. kind of explain this a little bit and you know, you'll get it in the video, but I think that, um, what happens is, you know, to feel confident, we have to take back that personal power. And we've given away our personal power in a lot of ways. And we all, we all do this. This happens to all of us. It's just human nature. Um, but 
the way to take back our personal power is we have to really understand what we can control and what we can't control. And what we can control is ourselves. We, we really like love, and I know me personally, I love feel, thinking that I can control other things and other people. <laughs> and I really sometimes try hard to, but um, it's always, it never works out. It never works out for me. Um, but when I focus in on what I can control, which is myself, my thoughts, my attitudes, my, my actions, my behaviors, my attitude, you know, I'm like all these things are in my control. And when I really, really focus there, that's when I get that personal power. And then when we take 100% responsibility for ourselves, that also brings in so much personal power. And what it looks like when we're, when we're not taking 100% responsibility for ourselves, it looks like victim, blame, and excuse, okay? And um, I'm interested, you know, from, from you, um, kind of which pitfall, and the, these are these little holes in the mountain are, are called pitfalls. It's kind of these traps that we get into um, that make it hard for us to keep moving forward. And um, for me, excuses <laughs> have always been really big of just like, I wanna reach this goal, but I don't have enough time or, um, you know, or it's, you know, it's too difficult, or I can't figure it out. Um, those excuses, we can absolutely keep them. You know, I have the option of keeping that. Yes, time is an issue. Um, and I can continue to use that excuse if I want. And I'd probably be very validated in that excuse. I'd if I told a friend, oh, I just don't have time to do that. Um, then they, they'd be like, oh yeah, of course. But then I don't get what I want. I don't get that result that I want. And so when I can say, yeah, time is difficult, but I'll figure it out. And I'm gonna take 100% responsibility to figure out how to, how to still reach my goal given some of these obstacles that I have in my place. So as you've gone through the course or even those who haven't maybe um, watch the videos yet. Um, where do you see, what are some of the pitfalls that you feel that kind of make you stumble as you're working to improve your spoken English? What is it that maybe either like having kind of this victim mentality of like things are happening to me or I'm blaming other people for why I can't accomplish the goal or I'm making excuses for why I'm, I can't. I can't reach that goal. Does anybody have any ideas? And, and I don't wanna kind of, when we bring up some of these ideas, sometimes there can be an emotional response to it. When someone says, oh, you're making excuses or you're just blaming, <laughs> a lot of times we can kind of get defensive and, and pay attention to that. If like, as you're listening to this, if you're getting defensive, um, kind of, listen to those feelings, you know, and, and get curious. Why am I feeling this way? Why, what is it about this topic that is bothering me? And really get kind of curious about that. Because I know that um, for me, when I get defensive about something um, and I look into it, sometimes there's some truth in that, you know, sometimes I'm finding some truth there. If, and, and, and if I'm open to discovering it, uh, there's a lot of understanding that comes from that. Does that make sense? To, is that making sense? I'd love to hear anyone's thoughts on this. It does. It does make sense. Uh, for me, it's the same thing, like excuses. I like to make excuses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there's not, mostly it's because I don't have time. But I think mm -hmm. um, I started to value more the effort I'm putting into it mm -hmm. because um, I know that I'm going to have results once I take uh, action and start practicing every day and mm -hmm. making myself uncomfortable because everything is about getting out of your comfort zone you know yes and so there's growth in, in when you get out of your comfort zone so i'm trying to apply that and take take action and be proactive to this situation because i figure that you know um as a professional you have to Speak, you have to speak publicly, you have to, I mean, it's life everywhere. <laughs> you mm -hmm. have to communicate. Yes. It's so important to be understood and be clear. And mm -hmm. uh, I, 
I noticed that once I let, uh, I, maybe I, uh, I skip practice, I tend to do this, go back to my same old habits. Mm -hmm. So I gotta be consistent and keep practicing. So I think uh, yeah. everything good, it, it takes a lot of effort. It, it, yeah. it takes work, yeah. It does. It yeah. does. And, you know, we can choose not to do the work. That's fine. That's an option for us. But I know that, you know, you're here because you want something. You want that result. You want confidence. You want, you know, your English to improve. And, um, and so we're really just kind of working to help you understand the obstacles that get in the way so that you can push through and keep focused on that goal. That's great. All right, anyone else have some ideas, some thoughts on this of like how this applies, how you've seen this in your life and how you're work, working through it to take control, you know, uh, accept responsibility for yourself and, and, um, and using that to reach your goals. Hi, Annie. Yeah. And this is Narayan. Hello. Yeah, I just want to share my thought regarding my communication. Mm -hmm. As I told you earlier, that uh, I'm not only I'm not only fast in English, but also I'm fast in my native language. Yes. So you know, I was trying uh, hard to identify that where I'm lacking, what are okay. mistakes, what are mistakes I'm making, and how can I recover myself. Uh, so I discussed with many people. Other people, people, people are saying me that you are very fast. Speak slowly, speak slowly. But I couldn't figure out that oh, how to figure out how what is the mistake, what I'm doing, and how to figure it out. But when I approached you, uh, you, when I went through pronunciation pro course, I identified the gaps, and now I'm recovering all that. So okay. I feel that uh, what I, what I was missing that uh, the opportunity or to identify how to figure out the mistakes which I'm doing during speaking during communication. Mm -hmm. So this yes. is what I want to share. Yeah, and bring that awareness to it. And I love that you you you're like, okay, this is a, I'm I'm struggling with my English, and you reached out to say, what is the problem? You know, and getting that feedback, and that takes a lot of humility to get that feedback from others and be like, oh, okay, that's what needs to happen. And yeah. that really is an example of taking responsibility for yourself because you're saying this is a goal that I want to reach, and I'm going to seek out resources to solve this problem and not only you know and you found found a, re, a, a way to solve the problem but that's just one step you have to actually be consistent with it and that's what you're doing as well to kind of bring in that personal responsibility so that's such a great example um, of that work of taking responsibility that's great Okay, so let's go ahead and so we're, we're, we're talking about kind of take back your personal power. Oh, I forgot to put power here. I'm going to need to correct my worksheet. <laughs> we got, we're all making mistakes all, all over the place. So um, what, identify what you can and can't control. So this is part of the worksheet, identifying what you can and can't control and really getting clear about that um, is, is incredibly important. And then take 100% responsibility of yourself. You know, we've talked about kind of that victim. Victim is seeing yourself as a victim of the negative actions of other people or circumstances. Blame is giving others responsibility for a problem. Excuse is a reason or explanation, but put forward to defend or justify something, okay? So an example of victim is, if only I was born in the US, then I wouldn't have to do this work. It's saying that this external thing is the, the reason why I have this problem and why I can't do this. I can't make the improvements that I have. Blame is, an example would be, native speakers shouldn't be so judgmental and intolerant of the way I speak English. So that's putting the responsibility on them and saying, well, if they would change, then this would be better. Then I wouldn't have to do this work. Um, and then excuse, I don't have time to work on my English, kind of something like that, okay? Now, 
I'm going to ask this question. What is one action I can take you can take that will help you take back your personal power? What's one action that you guys have identified? And I know many of you haven't done this, the video, watch the videos yet. Um, but in just thinking through this, what we what we talked about so far, what is one action you could take to help you take back your personal power? Maybe well, you've identified here's something that I'm doing and here's what I need to do to take back that power. Yeah, like you mentioned before, everything, the limitations are only on our minds. So we just need to make a plan. We need to know what we need to achieve our goal and go by step by step. And in this case, we'll be practice every day and um, do the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, setting aside time and just saying, this is my time for this work and being consistent with that. That's great. Yeah, being is very important when you make goals. Uh -huh. It has to be realistic. It has to be uh, achievable, you know, yes. and specific. So like you say, have say uh, every day from this time, from night to 10 in the morning, you're gonna practice. So that works better because if not, it's just, just a plan that you make that you don't have a specific time where you wanna practice and yes. have it be realistic and make a goal and say, I'll be accomplished. In English, um, you have, um, for me to know that if I am improving, I have to talk to with someone who knows me how I used to speak. So it will mean uh -huh. tell me to evaluate evaluate if I, if I am really improving or not. <laughs> or right. <laughs> how can I tell if I'm really getting any better or not? Right. Uh, yeah. That that having that external help and that external feedback it makes a huge difference. That's why we create so many support systems within within the program as well is because you have to have that feedback to say, yeah, you're getting better. You're doing, you're doing this correctly. And you can get that feedback a lot by how often people are asking you to repeat yourself or, you know, if, if that's getting better and better, you know, Hey, I think this is working. Right. And I wanted to add something else regarding that. Uh -huh. When you have that attitude of being a victim, I heard yeah. right somewhere about, um, you have to choose whether if you want to be, um, effective or you want to be right because yeah you can, mm. you can be a bit, but if you want to be effective you have to stop thinking that that way thinking that why i haven't been born in the u.s and having to go through learn english or that would be the example an example but yeah that's not effective that's right it might be unfair but you yeah. want to be effective you just have to do the work i mean yeah something like that was the idea that i wanted to yeah i love that you can either be right or you can be effective yeah, and we can, I mean, so many of these things, yes, if native speakers would would be more tolerant and wouldn't be judgmental, this would be a lot right. easier. <laughs> it would be a lot easier. <laughs> okay, that's true. But we can't go around controlling them, right? right. We have to focus right. on who we can control and that's ourselves. Um, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Good insight, thank you, Daisy. All yeah. right. Um, so let's move into um, the work on defining your goal and your purpose, okay? So module 2A was all about defining your goal and your purpose. And so I, I really talked about how, how um, our goal is pretty common here. It's kind of a common goal that, that our students have, and that is to learn how to speak English clearly and with greater confidence. Okay, so we're really, that's, that's the goal. Purpose becomes much bigger, much bigger than that. And so when we can really understand our purpose, then in, in doing this work and that purpose is clear and that purpose is strong, it really can guide us and help us stay motivated to overcome all of the obstacles. Okay, um, Abby, you have your hand raised. Did you have some thoughts on this? Um, yeah, um, um, just give me one, let me just, uh, mm -hmm. um, two signs coming at once, yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say, um, actually, I forgot what I was going to say, but I, <laughs> I forgot, because, 
I forgot. I'm gonna come back because I, I okay. forgot what I was gonna yeah. say. <laughs> no worries, no worries. All right, good. Um, okay, so I want some some of you to kind of share with me your purposes, okay? Or your purpose for doing this course. Um, a lot of times we do we our purpose is moving towards something positive. Like um, this is a goal. This is something that I'm really working towards. This is a reason why I'm doing this. And sometimes it's moving away from something negative. Like I really don't like the fear that I have when I'm making, when I'm speaking in public and I don't want to feel so afraid to speak in public or to speak up in meetings. Um, you know, there, there is motivation in both of those. And I'm interested in your thoughts about what is more motivating for you. Are they equally motivating? Um, does it help to have both? in place kind of what what are your thoughts about that what has been your experience um, i have a question um yeah i wonder you know sometimes you know sometimes when you you want to make yourself a goal for example mm -hmm. you use someone as an accountability where does that fall under your scale because there was victim there was blame and there was one more i'm not able to remember excuses it's accountability yeah. excuses yeah um, sometimes because you know sometimes if you can't can't find someone to use it as accountability and sometimes if you were to give up is that part of the excuses probably that, you say hey <laughs> I, I would reach this goal but i can't find accountability partner that sounds like an excuse <laughs> or more of it's i'm struggling you know because it would be to take responsibility would be like I really want to find an accountability partner for this. How can I find an accountability partner for this? And then just keep taking action until you figure that out. Okay. Mm -hmm. But to just stop taking action towards that would, would be kind of giving up and saying, well, that's an, ex you know, I can't do it because mm -hmm. it, it would be an excuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good question. Okay. Dodsey. Yes. Question? Yeah. Um, it's nice so, to see your face. I've seen your name a lot. <laughs> it's nice yeah. to see your face. Okay, go ahead. Nice to see you too. Thank you. Nice to yeah. see you, and nice to see everyone here. So my my goal and my purpose um, when I decided to jump into this is to be as efficient in English as I am in my first language, which is yeah. which is French actually. But to start with, even in French. I'm a little bit shy. My personality is a little bit shy. And, mm -hmm. um, but I know whenever I decide to contribute to something, to speak up or to, to, to contribute to anything, I do it well if I'm, I'm not held back by my timidity. So mm -hmm. having to do it in English makes it a little bit worse for me mm -hmm. because I have two barriers. The first one being my personality aspect, mm -hmm. and the second one is is the language aspect. In the way that I know, I, I don't know, I don't need. Actually, I don't need anyone to tell me that I'm not as good in English as I am in, in French. Is obvious to me. So I okay. have that uh, in the back of my head all the time. Yeah. Okay. So now uh, that is. I want to be able to be confident that I can speak English and I, I, I can speak it well. So I'm working mm -hmm. on that aspect. So my goal is to be able to, to perform well in English as I, I do in French and more, more than that, to be able to, to overcome my, 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 my shyness in French mm -hmm. and in life in general. So yeah. That's wonderful. So your purpose, so the, your goal is clear, the reason why. So I'm curious about more about purpose is why do you want to be able to speak up more in English? Why do you want to overcome that, that obstacle that you're feeling of your personality, you know, like your, that shyness in your personality? Why do that? Uh, the first reason is we all know English is everywhere. Okay. Um, I live now in a country where officially a country which is officially bilingual. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I live in Canada, but okay. English is the dominant dominant language. Yeah. And let alone I uh, I have to write in English all the time. I have yeah. to interact with my colleagues at work in English all the time. But English is my fourth language, not even the first, not oh, even wow. the second, okay. not even the third. Yeah. So. Wonderful. So. And that's one thing. The, the other thing is, if you don't in in our in our world now in our contemporary world, if you you don't master mm -hmm. English, you don't go anywhere. We all know that. So okay. I have it's a, it's an obligation for me professionally and personally. It's an obligation for me to know and to master English. That's okay. very important to me. And does that feel motivating to you? Is that very yes. motivate that that purpose? Does that does that motivate you to take action? Yes, because by doing it, by reaching that goal, I'm going to be the best version of myself. I'm going okay. to express myself fully uh, in that language. So that's motivating for me. Good, good. And that's the idea is when we have a purpose and we can get clear about the purpose of why are we doing this work. And it's motivating us. That's what motivate us, motivates us to keep taking action, to keep consistent, to keep working at it because it's not easy. It takes effort, right? It takes effort to keep up the work. But when you have that clear purpose and why you're doing it, it will motivate you to continue on with it. So great, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. All right, does anybody else want to share? Angie, I see your hand. Hi, hi Annie. Uh, hi. Yeah, hi. It is my first time um, to participate in this uh, meeting. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad um, to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I agree with you uh, completely. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think the, the first thing that uh, we, we feel about taking on new new goal or new task is um, the courage to make mistakes. I think mm -hmm. we all should have this courage because when we make mistakes, uh, we, we invite fear to ourselves. And then mm. after that, um, the, the next instinct will be uh, self-protect. So mm. I agree with you that, you know, um, we start to blame, we start to have uh, excuses, we start to, uh, you know, find all sorts of uh, reasons for not taking the step forward. So mm -hmm. I think after courage, the next step, instead of having fear and finding excuses, it should be self-compassion, that we yes. uh, we forgive ourselves for making mistakes. So I think for me, um, this will be the two things that I need to uh, bring in more to myself, courage and uh, self-compassion, that um, mm. I need okay. to tell myself it is okay to make mistakes, um, even mm -hmm. though I'm bringing my most vulnerable side to the world, you know, I'm making mm -hmm. myself look silly by... Um, having some something that is not so perfect, but I, I should tell myself it is okay. Yes. Right, right. I it is that. a process of life. Right. I love that so much. I love that. And as we go through this course, compassion, self compassion is a huge, huge part of it. And you'll hear me repeat it over and over again is we need to look at our thoughts and look at the thoughts that are kind of going around in our head, look at them with compassion. We can't judge, you know, ourselves. We want to be kind to ourselves in the way that we talk to ourselves. Um, and really that compassion is huge because when we're kind to ourselves and we are allow ourselves to make mistakes and we allow ourselves to, to not be perfect, you know, we allow that humanness in ourselves. Um, that's when we can really grow and progress the most and the best and, and, and progress into a, the best version of ourselves. Um, and, and like, you know, even what Dodzi was saying is with, you know, that shy personality is having compassion for that and saying, hey, this is my personality. And, you know, confidence will probably help me, help me speak up more, but I love who I am, you know, even because even for me, um, my personality is more introverted and shy as well. I don't necessarily love, you know, like <laughs> I don't want to be on stage. I don't want to be out there. <laughs> That's not my personality. Um, 
but I see in some situations it's necessary. And so I'm going to build the confidence and the thoughts to be able to step into that, that space and that role when it's needed. But do I want to do it all the time? No, because that's not my personality. <laughs> and we don't, we don't need to change us, but we just are working to improve on what we, you know, areas that we want to. Yeah, and that compassion is everything. So thank you, Angie. Anyone else have thoughts here? Oh, see, let, let's see, Melanie, I see that your hand is up. And Abby, I don't know if your hand was up again or whether it just didn't come down. Um, uh, Melanie, yeah. I'm gonna have you go first and then I'll come back. Okay. Okay, so Melanie, go ahead. Yeah, I just uh, lower my hands here. <laughs> okay, perfect. So but I think here, uh, I have a few things uh, I wanna say here. It's really about the confidence come from yourself. I really mm -hmm. agree uh, that I with you about uh, the motivation, the source of your courage, because you keep practicing, you have a consistent practice you know, every day um, to improve yourself. In, in that way, actually, you keep improve yourself continuously and you gain more confidence along the way as well. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I really want to notice, I don't know how many of you, when the first time you hear your voice on audio, or you see yourself, you know, for, for example, from the video, um, my so my feeling is I hate it myself because mm -hmm. I feel you know there's someone talking but I don't I don't like myself in all the video. Mm -hmm. mm, but I want to say recently I feel it's just a first a self perception mm, mm -hmm. because I had my live streaming last week. Uh, I had a, around like a seventeen people. Mm, actually, I have done also a public speaking presentation a couple of times. I had an audience, you know, up to 100. My goal mm -hmm. here uh, is really about to train myself on uh, public speaking. Mm. Mm, so I started from like 15, 15 people. Um, and I'm talking about any out number of use cases, like 10,000 people, you know, in the stadium. But I think that's my goal in the future. Okay. So every Wonderful. time I make an audience, you know, from 15 people, 100, 500 and more. Um, I think that is a way, you know, how I measure my com my confidence also along the way as well. Mm. So I keep practicing first step, gonna achieve you know, for 15 people that can speak comfortably and, and talk about, you know, different topics, uh, especially on my job. And then I can, you know, just along the way, train myself, work on my speech structure. Basically, I can talk about topics more complicated. Uh, also, some technical concepts more complicated as well. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a, a work, you know, along the way, not only on the accent training, it's also about your logic, um, how you structure speech. Yeah. Also use the powerful words, how you can express yourself in short English, for example, how you yeah. express yourself, you know, more expressive, ex express yourself more effectively. So I think yeah. there's a lot of work on, yeah. So yeah, I, so you're really, so real quick, Melanie, what you're doing is you you have a very clear goal and kind of steps through your goal. So it's really, really great. I want to hear your purpose. Why are you doing that? My purpose is to be able to clearly express myself, to be more expressive. Uh, but why? Why does mm, it matter? Mm, part of it is because of my job, because my job, you know, I have to, do the public speaking all the time, you know, okay. in front of different audience, and they all speak English, like uh, their mother languages. Okay. Also, we have also non-native speakers as well, but the, the thing is, um, we're not talking about daily lives, you know, we're talking about some complicated, um, technical, very professional topics uh, around our job that allows uh -huh. you to make more impact in your, um, in your industry. Okay. So, so also, it helps you have more impact on your industry. And the more you can clearly communicate, the more impact you're going to have on your industry. Is that going to sound about your leadership? Because yeah, when you have more impact, actually, your mindset might impact more people and you can mm -hmm. lead your industry, you know, in um but what I want to say is I, I want yeah. to talk about over from the negativity, but I can then face here is Mm, and leadership actually is very important because the more you have impact you have 
um, no more, actually the ability to change the world, you know, that affects mm. you because I have a big goal, I have a big dream. So mm -hmm. the more, you know, I can be more expressive to help myself achieve my goal. And uh, this is, uh, I need to go the distance because it's a long-term goal. That's why I keep motivated to practice myself every day. It's a daily yeah. practice part of my life, yeah. Great. Okay. So what I'm hearing and why I kept kind of probing you is because you're very clear on your goal. And then I kept asking about kind of that purpose and you got into a higher level, higher level kind of picture and vision of yourself that I could tell that's what's really motivating you. There's this leadership in, you know, this, this, this vision of leadership and the effects that you can have in your industry and and what you can do within your industry to really change the world and change change things in a in a, in a in a bigger way and the more you can clearly communicate the more you'll be able to accomplish that purpose and that's those are the that's really what i'm trying to get at with this lesson is for you to really keep asking why why am i doing this why 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 and get to that higher level purpose because when you really have that vision of that higher level purpose for yourself, that's when you're going to really stay motivated to overcome the obstacles, to break, you know, really overcome some of that the excuses and the victim and the, um, let's see, victim, blame and excuses that tend to get in the way and that, that keep us from those or try to keep us from this goals. But when we have that clear purpose and it's a very high level vision and we can get more and more clear about that, the more we're gonna stay consistent and be able to accomplish that. So I really, really appreciate, yeah. um, you know, and I really oh, encourage all of you, here just a minute, Melanie. I really encourage all of you to just keep asking why, <laughs> you know, here's, here's what I'm doing, why, 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 until you can't answer why anymore. Okay, and that is going to be that higher level purpose. Okay, one minute, you know, go ahead, one minute, Melanie, and then we're going to move on. Go ahead. One thing I want to point out is really about uh, the plan. Actually, it wasn't included in the notes before. I want to say is I, uh, before I joined Pro Pronunciation Pro, actually, uh, I was planning myself all the time because mm. I found out sometimes I want to express something. Mm, I just you know, didn't do things clearly. Yeah, I want to say something and maybe people misunderstand, you know, misunderstand for another thing. And I found out, you know, uh, how I, why I have this kind of feedback. Um, then I analyze myself. Firstly, uh, maybe it's because of the way you say things not correctly. So your structure, you know, it's not clear because you have a different opinion. You have a lot of things want to, you know, want to put in the same sentences. And uh, then people think, oh, okay, you're going to a different direction, and so it's very hard to catch up on. And okay. the second thing is I found out is about the accent, because when you're really very motivated to express yourself, then you find out, you know, you're kind of rush in the sentences, and then, you know, some important words need to stress, you know, you need to put an intonation, mm -hmm. and I won't do that correctly. Yeah. Um, the third thing is also because it's not my first language and mm -hmm. I also speak, a, you know, lots of languages yeah. as well. Basically, we don't have the same way to pronounce some words uh, to put a stress and uh, how to chunk the system, uh, sentences as well, which is yeah. why, you know, I, I was trying to structure myself, then find a way how, why I wasn't understood by people. Mm -hmm. uh, so. All those things done, uh, I need to also, you know, I practice over a year. Now it's a year and uh, four months I've been with mm -hmm. Pronunciation Pro. So I found out, you know, yeah. so I clear up the first set of goals uh, to express myself clearly. And then I started to how to structure my speech. I learned a lot of different expressions from the TV series, movies. Uh, also learn Here, about- Melly, I'm gonna go ahead and- yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up here just because we're running out of time. But, but yeah, there are lots of lots of like specific skills that need to be kind of addressed, and that those goals are very clear. And and I love that your goals are very clear and what you're working towards. Very good. Okay, um, let's go ahead with Giselle. I'm gonna have you. 
share your thoughts and then we're going to kind of wrap it up and I want to tell you I want to be able to explain kind of what's what's next and how how you can prepare for the next phase yes. here yes hi everyone <laughs> can you hear me yes yes we can yes so I'm sorry to join the group late because it seems like uh, the time complicated me so here in Vancouver is 10 o'clock so oh, okay so I did you just join oh, okay yes all right well well sorry that you missed it but we'll uh we'll I'll, I'll kind of let you know now kind of what to expect moving forward okay yes i see all right thanks but i have a little one he made yes. this noise <laughs> so fun <laughs> that, so. oh no worries totally. okay all right so here's what we're kind of the top of the hour i i want to respect your time here um so here's what we're going to do moving forward. So we have, you have the lessons. I really encourage you to watch the videos and do the exercises that go along with each video. That's going to be your best work. Then use the comments below each lesson to engage with our pro community. And I know that takes courage to kind of comment and share on, on um, that platform, but I promise you this is a safe environment and and we're all here doing the same work together. Excuse me, together. So, um, so I really want you, I encourage you to kind of get involved, really apply it to your life, really kind of uh, dive in to this content. And then we'll keep, I'll keep releasing modules every Monday. January 7th, we'll go ahead and um, meet together again and it's very important that you're watching the videos um, and that you do that work before coming to the live, the next live lesson. Okay. So the live lessons are really going to be concentrated on you've done, you know, you've done your own kind of learning through the videos, then it's time to get together and really practice and, and, um, and apply what you're learning in the videos together. So if you come without watching those videos, you're going to be a little lost in this process, okay? And I know that today was different because we're just diving into this very new um, thing and, and you didn't know exactly what to expect yet, but that's what we're doing moving forward. And so month, every month we'll go ahead and do these live trainings and, and um, have an opportunity to share and to work together through it, okay? I love hearing your experiences. I love hearing your wins, especially kind of how you're using the content um, in your daily life. So keep sharing that with me and we'll see you again in the next training. All right. Your voice is important and needs to be heard. If you're ready to speak English clearly and with greater confidence, I invite you to start your free seven day trial at pronunciationpro.com.